had an interesting experience a couple of years ago. I used to do a radio show, Health and Fitness Talk radio show, and I had this nutritionist on from the U, and she was telling me that they were doing experience, experiments up at the U. Um, the way that humans get vitamin D, there's, we can eat it, um, but the way that we mostly get vitamin D is our skin converts it, right, from sunlight. And vitamin D, it used to be thought that all vitamin D used to do is, is just to help strengthen your bones. And now we're realizing that um, it plays a very important part in immunity and hormone regulation and etc. Some really, really important processes inside of your body are um, stimulated and take, they take place in the presence of vitamin D. Where you're deficient in that, you're less healthy. Okay. Well, what this, this professor did is he decided that he was going to do the standard 15 minutes in sunshine every single day like they say to do. The problem is, is that in certain times of the year, the sun is very low on the horizon at this parallel, right? But he was going to see how long, how much vitamin D, serum vitamin D, they could measure um, by just getting it from the sun. So starting in about November, he would go on top of their roof and he would take his shirt off and sit there for 15 minutes. It didn't matter what the temperature, it didn't matter how cold it was. He would sit there for 15 minutes hoping to get some of the vitamin D from the sun. What do you think they found? Zero. It wasn't even not much. It was zero. Um, even on the sunny days with his skin fully exposed from the waist up, he had no measurable vitamin D floating around in his blood none. For half of the year, at this parallel, we live above the 45th parallel. Um, at this parallel, we get no discernible vitamin D. Now, think about things like cancer. Think about things like depression. Think about things like colds and such that we get, infections with viruses. Um, uh, uh, being deficient in vitamin D can severely affect you in more ways than one. So we're going to suggest that anybody that lives above this parallel begin taking a supplemental dose of vitamin D, okay? And there's a lot of them out there. We're not gonna go so far as to suggest a specific one, even though I take this shift one and I like it a lot. Um, we're not gonna suggest a specific one, but we are gonna suggest a dose, okay? We're gonna suggest a dose of upwards of a thousand international units a day. Now, some people are telling you to eat, take way more than that. Okay, um, what the FDA says is 400. I think you can safely do double, more than double that. And I'm going to suggest that you do because that dose that, that they put out, the 400 I use a day, um, is generally for bone health. That was they put that suggestion out before we understood its complete role in um, the rest of your health. So we think that you'll need a lot more than. That.